The Late Mattia Pascal by Luigi Pirandello is a novel that intricately explores themes of identity, existentialism, and the fluidity of reality through the life of its protagonist, Mattia Pascal. The narrative structure and Pirandello's philosophical musings create a compelling study of a man who, disillusioned with his existence, attempts to escape the constraints of his identity, only to find himself ensnared in new forms of existential dilemma. The novel opens with Mattia Pascal, a man who feels trapped in a stifling marriage and a dead-end job in his small Italian village. His life takes a dramatic turn when he discovers that his wife has been unfaithful and his mother has squandered the family fortune. Despairing, Mattia decides to abandon his life, leaving his village with no intention of returning. His escape leads him to Monte Carlo, where an improbable stroke of luck allows him to win a substantial sum of money at the casino. This newfound wealth provides him the means to reinvent himself. However, Mattia's story takes a further twist when he reads in a newspaper that he has been declared dead. A body found in his hometown's canal is mistaken for his, and his supposed death gives him the freedom to start anew under a different identity. He adopts the name Adriano Mice and begins a new life in Rome. Initially, this new identity seems to offer him the liberation he sought. Yet, as Adriano Mice, he finds himself confronting a new set of limitations and existential questions. He cannot legally engage in many societal functions such as marrying or owning property, as his new identity lacks official recognition. Furthermore, the lack of a past and the need to constantly guard his secret create a pervasive sense of isolation. Pirandello masterfully delves into the psychological and philosophical implications of Mattia's dual existence. The character's journey reflects a deeper inquiry into the nature of self and the constructs of identity imposed by society. Mattia's metamorphosis into Adriano Mice is an exploration of the tension between individual freedom and societal expectations. His assumed identity, while providing temporary respite from his former life's troubles, ultimately becomes a prison of its own, illustrating that true freedom cannot be achieved through mere external changes. The novel's existential undertones are underscored by Pirandello's use of irony and paradox. Mattia's supposed death, which ostensibly grants him a new lease on life, paradoxically binds him to a new form of existential limbo. The narrative suggests that identity is not merely a social construct but also an intrinsic part of personal reality. Mattia's inability to sustain his new identity without social recognition underscores the importance of social context in defining and validating personal existence. Pirandello also uses the character's experiences to comment on the fluidity of reality. The notion that reality is subjective and malleable is a recurrent theme in the novel. Mattia's life as Adriano Mice illustrates how the perception of reality can shift based on individual and societal perspectives. This theme is accentuated by the novel's structure, which intersperses Mattia's reflections with the recounting of his experiences, blurring the lines between his internal and external worlds. Ultimately, the late Mattia Pascal is a poignant examination of the human condition. It raises profound questions about the essence of self, the constraints of social identity, and the elusive nature of freedom. Mattia's return to his village, where he discovers that he is now truly a ghost in his own life, reinforces the tragic irony of his situation. His attempt to reclaim his old identity is met with the realization that he can never truly go back, he is, in a sense, forever lost between two worlds. Pirandello's novel remains a powerful exploration of the search for self amidst the labyrinthine constructs of identity and reality. Through Mattia Pascal's Odyssey, Pirandello invites readers to ponder the inherent contradictions of existence and the perennial human quest for meaning and belonging in a world where both seem perpetually out of reach.